Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedient PC Audio Labs again. Today we're back with our video tutorials and we're going to start a new series. Okay, this new series is going to be on Cubase 12. Uh, it's a digital audio workstation developed by the company Steinberg. So today's going to be the very first one. We're going to learn how to open the software and how to create our very first Cubase project. So uh, here we go. Um, we have Cubase 12 installed and it comes with this icon here. I have it on my desktop, so I'll go ahead and double click it to load it. Uh, you're going to see this little window. It's loading Cubase Pro 12 Advanced Music Production System by Steinberg. So as soon as it loads, you're going to see this window. OK, this window has a couple areas that you want to make sure that you understand. Um, on the left, you got news. OK, these are b basically news. Uh, like what's new in Cubase, you know, Cubase updates, um, Steinberg spotlights, a couple interviews, news on Steinberg products. Okay. Now here on your right, you have projects. This is very important. Okay. Um, Cubase, I guess you could say files or sessions are actually called projects. Okay. So if you click where it says recent, you're going to see a list of the last projects that you've been working on. And you can basically just double click them and just load them. Now, after recent, you have recording, scoring, production, mastering, and more. These um, options basically give you presets, meaning that when you create a new project, it'll be preset to a certain purpose. For example, if you go recording, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be recording. And I'm going to be recording a singer-songwriter. Okay, so someone that plays an acoustic guitar and sings. Well, guess what? There's a preset called acoustic guitar plus vocal. And it says, use this template to record acoustic guitar with vocals. Connect your guitar or guitar mic or pickup to input one and connect vocal mic to input two. So what does that mean? Well, this project will basically create two tracks. One for the acoustic, one for the vocal. You plug it in and that's it. So it's a preset of tracks so that you basically save time. And you got all kinds of, honestly. Uh, yes, there's acoustic and vocal, clean, electric and vocal, distortion and vocal, piano and vocal. But you also have stuff for like bands. Like, for example, 24 mono, 12 stereo, 24 MIDI, 8 groups plus effects. Well, that's a multi-track recording template, uh, including sending effects routing. So if you're tracking a band, you might want to use that. You also have presets for scoring, production, mastering, and so on and so forth. And if you go to more, this is my favorite, empty. If you click on it, you select it and it'll basically create a project that's totally empty. No tracks, no nothing. That way you're forced to create your own tracks, your own MIDI, your, your own instruments and so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and do empty. So I'll go more and then click empty. It's highlighted. So we're good there. Now down here, you got a couple options. You can use a default location to store the session or you can prompt for project location. I like prompting. Why? Because I have different hard drives. So I want it to ask me, where do you want to save it? And I'll tell it, okay, I want it here or there. And then your project folder. So that's basically your name, okay? The name for the uh, project in this case. I'm going to go ahead and label this as my first project. Okay. My first project. So I'm going to click on create. It's going to ask me where I want it to be storing my audio drive, select that folder and boom, we have created our first Cubase project starting from the quote unquote empty preset. And as you can see, it is empty. There's no tracks, there's no audio, there's no MIDI, there's no virtual instruments, absolutely nothing. It's just a blank canvas. Uh, if you're learning how to use the software, I encourage you to start with an empty project so that you practice how to create tracks, how to route inputs, how to route outputs, and so on and so forth. Okay, so that's it. That's how you create your first project in Cubase. Uh, if you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we will be happy to help you. We will see you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.